Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're going to bake our own Viking bread. Full of protein, full of fiber. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now obviously we need a mix of different things and we just tell you what's inside here. This is oat flakes, linseed, uh, whole and uh, ground, some pumpkin seeds, millet flakes, chia seeds, some salt, sunflower protein is in there, some psyllium husks, coriander, fennel and caraway seeds. Now this uh, mixture that I bought is gluten free, it's very high in protein, high in fiber and it's yeast free as well. Now what else do we need? We need some uh, apple cider vinegar, you need your favorite nut mix just as a decoration uh, later on, as well as 480 milliliters of water that we still have to boil. Now you need a bread baking foam, preferably with a lid. I like to use one of those, um, you know, oven um, baking papers just because I don't want to mess up my Dutch oven too much. And you need a spoon. There we go, the water has boiled so we're going to pour that in first. And then we're going to add in the vinegar. And don't worry, the vinegar, you won't taste it later on. It is just uh, to make uh, or to, to give the bread a chance to be a bit more durable, so to speak. So, you know, that it doesn't go bad or go off. It doesn't go off as quickly as it would if we don't use it. Now, um, you won't taste it later on. Now, this bread, uh, this bread, this bread, yes, this bread <laughs> is great. Um, you know, if you want to watch your blood sugar level a little bit, so that's why I like to, to make it. And obviously it's a lot healthier with all these lovely ingredients rather than your regular wheat uh, or toast bread or whatever you, you usually eat. And as you can tell, it's super easy to make. We're pretty much done. <laughs> so we're going to mix it up. We're gonna let it rest for a minute. We're gonna give it another mix and then I'll show you the next step. The minute is up, we're going to give it another stir and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it into our Dutch oven. Um, now you can use butter if you want to, you know, to fatten the inside. I prefer, as I said before, to use that baking paper. So we're going to put that in here. Oops, <laughs> that didn't want to go in. And then we're going to leave it in there for about half an hour for the water to really do its job and you know start to rehydrate all these different nuts that are in there. So here we go. And what you want to do is you want to flatten it out a little bit, you know, to make it obviously look nice. Just like that. And I'll show you how that looks like in the Dutch oven in a second. All right, that's what it looks like. We're gonna let it rest for half an hour. Half an hour is up. I already sprinkled some of these extra nuts on the top, you know, make it look nice and presentable. And now it's gonna go into the barbecue or the oven, whichever one you have at 190 degrees for 75 minutes until it is baked sufficiently. If you're doing it, in um, the barbecue, obviously, go for the indirect zone. As I said, we're cooking indirect, which means this burner's on, this burner's on, and it goes straight in the indirect zone. We close the lid and we let it cook for 75 minutes. 75 minutes later, we're done. So let's have a look. And it is piping hot, guys, but this is what it looks like. The nuts have gotten some color on the top. So let's take it out. Let it cool down. But I think it looks already quite nice. So, 
leave it on here, let it cool down, and then we're going to cut it once it's cold. The bread has sufficiently cooled down, so as I said, let's cut up a slice or two. And look at this, guys. I think that looks absolutely delicious, so I'm going to get myself a slice or two and dig in. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video about our Viking bread. Now, as I said, it's gluten-free, it's high in protein, it's high in fiber, it's yeast-free. Um, it really tastes great, I have to admit it. Um, you know, so and it's super easy to make. So, I mean, what ca more can you ask of a bread? Now, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. Please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.